Dude, you know, you know the Orville show? Yes! How that, is it? That show is out Star trek Star Trek. Yep. Without question. Now, I, I've only just gotten onto it in about the last two weeks. Yeah, I only got onto it because you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, so. I remember watching the, the pilot episode when it first came out, but I hadn't really watched anything since then. But I dug deep in the last couple of weeks, and i got to say, man, you know, the, the producers of the current Star Trek Discovery series over at Paramount, they need to pay attention because what Seth MacFarlane has done um, with the Orville is absolutely fantastic. Mm. It's literally taking the tone and concept of the 90s Star Trek or 80s Star Trek in Next Generation Voyager and he's added his own kind of his own flavor to it. Yeah. And what I really love about the Orville too is the balance of that. Yeah. Because when you hear Seth MacFarlane, you just, just think gonna, family guys. You're thinking away. family, just yeah. reference after reference yeah. after reference. And they're there. But it's but not it's, all the way through. No. So they keep that serious Star Trek tone yeah. in a storyline. Um, and, you know, that could go for 20 minutes without a joke. Yeah. But when the jokes come, they're really effective. And there's, there's seriousness between them. Oh, the absolutely. And, and they're doing yeah. exactly what classic Star Trek has always done. Mm. And that is deal with uh, today's problems in a and telling of those kind of social issues mm. on a science fiction template. You know, you had that episode about the upvotes. Yeah, yeah. Which is a comment on social media. We've had stuff in... Um, Gender. Gender equality, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, gender equality and things yep. like that. Um, they're very progressive with their ideas and that on the show. Maybe a bit too liberal for me, but nevertheless, I, the show's really fantastic. So, and, you know, I mean... Two seasons has had so Two far. seasons, I think they're up to episode yep. seven now on season two so far. So, look, it's, it's really just a recommendation, guys. Get on it, yeah. because it is a really good quality show and it's one of those shows too it does require you to think a little bit when it comes to the science but believe oh, yeah. it or not it's one of those shows you can sit back and turn your brain off and yeah. enjoy yeah. Um, and yeah it's got some good little like you know the Ace cast is fantastic is I mean even Norm McDonald <laughs> playing that glutinous <laughs> blob is just phenomenal and, and then you Scott see Grimes him. playing yeah. the pilot do you know who Scott Grimes plays in the Family Guy universe, the guy with the red beard, the red no, no, guy. No, no. He's the voice of Steve from American Dad. Oh, is he? Yeah. He oh, is, he is. okay. Um, and oh, Adrian Pilecki, who is like, wow, she's amazing. Um, and uh, no, everyone's fantastic. And yeah. Seth MacFarlane actually proving awesome, himself man. to be quite a very competent awesome. actor. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nah, excellent. His, his, you know, his direction, his one-liners that he has in those moments. Yeah. It's just awesome. Yeah, so I like... It's a good show. It is. It really, really is good yeah. show. So, all right, well, let's get off the shaft of uh, Orville now. It's a show worth watching, guys. Get on it, guys, um, for sure. But I'd love to hear what you think of the show. Have you seen it? Do you watch it religiously? Do you think it's a pile of crap? Rick, how do they let us know? Guys, all you need to do is give us a comment down below. Um, hit that like button for the video. Also hit that subscribe button for our channel. If you have, thank you so much for your support. We really, really appreciate it. Follow us all on our social media sites. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well so you know when we upload all our videos. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. See you, guys.